हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू अनदर एपिसोड ऑफ ऑल अबाउट ब्रिज इंजीनियरिंग एंड दिस एपिसोड ऑल्सो लाइज इन द प्ले लिस्ट जर्नी ऑफ अ ट्रस्ट वेयर आई एम एक्चुअली मॉनिटरिंग द कंस्ट्रक्शन फेजेज ऑफ दिस ओपन वेब गार्डर इन एपिसोड वन आई टोल्ड यू हाउ द बॉटम कॉड वॉज बींग अलाइन फ्रॉम राइट अबर्टमेंट टू द लेफ्ट अबर्टमेंट विद द हेल्प ऑफ मेन केबल वन मेन केबल टू एज वेल एज टेम्पररी टावर्स इन एपिसोड टू वी सॉ All the bottom cord members were in position, but the top cord members, the initial end raker and the initial vertical members were being positioned. That to be with the help of main cable one, main cable two, pulley one, pulley two, as well as temporary towers. But in this very episode, there are no temporary towers on the abutments, which means the role of the temporary towers is now over. The temporary towers were only constructed to ensure safe. and easy lifting and positioning of individual steel sections at their respective positions for different members so since the temporary towers cannot be seen on the abutments that is that is the left abutment and this one is the right abutment so it means no more lifting of sections has to be done now or in other terms all the lifting processes are complete so this structure is now actually in its construction stage where shuttering or form work work is under progress so let's go close to abutment on the right that is at that very point and see how this shuttering is done and uh, how this shuttering form work is supported so let's proceed and i will see you from the abutment so all right guys now i have come over the uh, abutment location this is the rightmost abutment and this is Uh, one of the joints which is the first joint of so anyways we'll be focusing on these uh, shuttering or form work plates so you see these c sections which are the shear studs are actually resting on the cross beams so wherever you are seeing these c sections that is the location of cross beams and also see that this shuttering plate this shuttering plate is leveled with the top flange of the cross beam because the top of the cross beam will actually act as the bottom of the deck slab and these shear studs will totally be embedded in the deck slab once the concrete is poured so also we will see how this shuttering or form works are supported at the bottom by going at the bottom of this very truss but before that i'll show you uh, why these these shuttering plates on the right and the left are placed for that i have to just uh, climb or get over this structure so just spare me a moment so all right now i have come over the top of this uh, shuttering plates and now i am standing just on one of the shuttering plates so we'll see how these uh, why the shuttering plates on these edges are provided so please note that whenever the concrete is being poured its dead weight is more than its dry weight that is the weight of wet concrete is more than the dry weight and also it it, it exerts horizontal pressure so to take care of that horizontal pressure these shuttering plates on the left and the right side are provided and how they are actually positioned you will be surprised to see that actually these are uh, slightly welded with the actual members you can see this is a temporary weld through which this shuttering plate is connected and also this is temporarily welded with the bottom cord with the help of this reinforcement die there is this reinforcing bar so same is the trend let's see from this view you can see all these reinforcement bars are actually slightly welded to the bottom cord and to the shuttering plates so that the lateral forces of the wet concrete are effectively distributed and uh, a very good a uh, deck is casted and now i think it's time that we should uh, go to the bottom of this structure to see how this these very plates that is this plate is actually supported but before that you see these connection joints once the deck is casted will not be able will will not be able to see them because uh, some portion of these gazette plates will actually be uh, hidden due to the presence of the future deck that is about to come and still some of the plates like for example this very plate 
is to be aligned and workers are actually having a lunch break at this very time and that is why you cannot hear any noise and the only noise is of the running stream which is actually pleasant so once the entire shuttering works are done the reinforcements will be tied or kept in place you will you should you should be aware by you should be aware that since i am standing on the cross beam right now see this is the cross beam and uh, the deck slab will be spanning on the cross beams as a one way continuous slab so the main reinforcement will be in the direction of main bending and the distance between these cross beams or the direction between these cross beams is actually the longitudinal direction of the truss and the deck will be bending accordingly in the longitudinal direction so we will be seeing when the reinforcement will be tied up that the main reinforcement is actually in the direction of the main span and now we'll be having a look from the bottom of this ferry truss where i'll show you how these plates are actually supported these shuttering plates are actually being supported so again spare me a moment and let me go to the bottom of this ferry structure so now i have come on the bottom of the structure and uh, just to just to see how the base plates or the shuttering plates were being supported and it is very clearly visible that these shuttering plates are actually supported on these longitudinal sections which are actually nothing but the channel sections so let me bring one such detail by a zoom section so you can see the shuttering plates are actually resting on individual channel sections and these channel sections are actually resting on angle sections these minute little angle sections which are welded to the cross beams and over them these channels are temporarily welded and over which the shuttering plates are rested to take care of the load during the casting of the concrete deck so once the concreting is done and it is sufficiently uh, cured and the casting of concrete is over then after 28 days or maybe after 14 days we will see that these longitudinal channel sections could be removed but i think they will be removing it after 28 days but uh, that's a matter of time i'll see when it happens and at that point of time we will be witnessing that these longitudinal channel sections are no more present because they have to be removed these are just temporarily placed over these angle sections just to support the dead weight of the wet concrete during casting so once this structure becomes a reality a lot of convenience to the local daily commuters will be present and that is the whole intent of this ferry truss so i hope you got little idea about the shuttering arrangements and also about different stages of construction through this playlist journey of a truss we will be come we will be coming to this very place again when reinforcement will be actually in place and we will see how that is placed and in which direction is the main bar just to see uh, whether it is in lines with our structural requirements or not so stay tuned for more such content and hit the like button if you find my content informative and also share it with your like minded civil engineering friends who are ready to make the difference in the industry so that's it